What is going on guys? I'm Caleb and today I just found out an awesome way of how to create your own very cu own custom boot logos. And for this of course you have to be jailbroken. I apparently happen to be on iOS 5.01 which is a tethered jailbreak as of right now. But soon, it, I, I'm pretty sure it'll work on any other jailbreak, I'm not for sure. But uh, I figured this out earlier today. And pretty much all you need to do is be able to SSH into your iPod. And if you don't know how to do that, it's fairly easy. Um, go into Cydia. Okay, guys. So you want to go into Cydia. Go to search. And search. Open. SSH and of course you want to go up and click install now once you have that you go into your computer on your Windows or Mac you want to look up win SCP and once you got that download that and install it and then SSH right up into your iPod. As you can see here, I have my iPod. Now to make a custom boot logo, you're gonna need pictures. And pretty much how this works, it's a picture played kind of like a GIF image. It's gonna play one picture, say, say you give this picture the name of zero, it's gonna play that one first, and then it's gonna go in order to 10. So like, it's gonna have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that was something else. But uh, to create your pictures, I use Photoshop. And this is what mine looked like. But I'll show you what it will look like. Let me, uh, you want to open up a new document. And you want your width to be 320 pixels and your height to be 480 pixels. That's your default screen resolution size for your iPod 4th generation. And once you do that, it's gonna come up with something like this. Open up your layers. And if you don't have Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen, it's very easy to get. You can get a, a, a free download from adobe.com. You can get a, like a 30 day trial and you can make your own um, intro. Or if you don't, you can always feel free to go and download a custom one at from Cydia. Just go into um, boot logos and it'll be right there. But this is something pretty cool that I figured out. So I was I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys. So what I did is uh, pretty plain and simple. All I did was add a text file and you can name it whatever. Um, you can do this with pictures or whatever. It really doesn't matter. And what I did, I'm just I just said I just say my name and I and pretty much what I had it do is one picture I had it here next picture I had it here then here and then I had it come back in the middle and change all these different colors and that was fairly simple and to do that all I did was create duplicate actually I duplicated each layer and then when I had the layer I'd drag it down and I just changed the color of it so like this change it to red and that's fairly easy and then what I did you want to make sure you save it as a PNG file so go to the file save as the format you want to go to PNG and you want your first one to be named zero and I'm gonna save that the computer I'm gonna save it to my libraries Not. you want to save the first file as zero that PNG and you want to click OK and then what I did I hid that layer and I hid the second layer you want to go back up the file save as and this one you want to put one and you're gonna put this one as a PNG file also so now you're seeing that they're going in order and I'm just not really giving them name, but pretty much once you do that, 
you'll have something that looks like this. So this is the first one. And then it goes to here, and here, and here. And that's what it ended up looking like. Now, this is when your SSH comes in hand. You want to get your picture files that you, met, that you had. And you want to come over to this side. This is your iPod. This is your computer. You want to come over here and you go all the way up to the root. So you click this little drop down panel. Click the backslash root. And you want to go to the library. Double click. And boot logos. And once you're in boot logos, you want to left click and click new and then directory and this is when you'll create a new folder in this case I created C test and you want to click OK now once you're in your new folder you want to take all the pictures that you just saved that make sure they're all PNG as you can see they're all on this side of my uh, computer right here I'll highlight them all you want to take all these and you want to drag them all right here and once you do all that, you want to um, accidentally put the other ones in there. But uh, once you do that, it will automatically send all those files over to your iPod. Alright guys, now you want to go into your settings. Scroll down to boot logo. And if you click C chest or whatever file you just made, go up to click preview. You can see we have a pretty cool new boot logo we just have. And if you just make sure that little check is on there. And if you reboot, next time you reboot, it will play that. So thanks for watching guys. This has been Caleb. Make sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe if you need any help. Until next time, guys, peace out.